I got this specifically for this video and it was nine, nine dollars. Nine dollars. And its best buy date is tomorrow. So I really hope it still tastes all right. But we're just gonna, gonna give it, it smells like green stuff. The cashier told me it was good. So I was like, it better be because it's nine dollars. It just tastes like I'm drinking celery. How do people do this? Like just, yeah, okay. I love you, bitch. Oh my God. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you. Today, uh, well, first of all, long time no see again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but today we're talking about something that I have seen on TikTok and just around the internet as a whole for a while. And that is the that girl trend. I have some mixed feelings about this trend and I just wanted to spew about it for a while. So that's what we're gonna do. I like to call this trend skinny white girls drinking green juice because that's essentially what this can be summed up as. And please don't take offense if you are a skinny white girl who likes drinking green juice. <laughs> I love you. You're doing amazing. Do what's best for you. But I just think that's what this whole trend could be deduced down to because that's basically what it is. <laughs> I think the whole trend itself is uh, more, more toxic than not uh, for very various reasons and so that's why I wanted to talk about it today. I also think the narrative it spreads about like what self-care and health really are uh, is super misleading. <laughs> it's more than what they just portray it to be in their like short TikToks and stuff. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So if you don't know what the that girl trend is, if you've been like lucky enough to kind of avoid it, it's basically the equivalent of like the thin spo days on like Tumblr. That's what I would equate this to if you were a Tumblr person like I was. It It's very, very simple similar to that. Most of the time you'll see thin, predominantly white girls waking up at like 5.30 a.m. to do yoga in their sky rise apartment that has wall to wall windows and like an amazing, or not sky rise, high rise. <laughs> waking up in their high rise apartments with like wall to wall windows and floor to ceiling windows with like an excellent view of whatever city they live in. Like they're eating avocado toast and drinking green juice. They're writing affirmations in their journals and they're doing some squats with peach bands and like perfectly curated outfits at the gym. And the, the TikToks surrounding this trend often have like a sound in the back that is like talking about like, don't be lazy and like always show up for yourself. And like, I hate lazy people. And like, there's always like some kind of like, like inspiration like in the background of these videos and TikToks. And there's even some videos on YouTube on like how to be that girl. I will give them the fact that their videos and everything that they use are beautiful. Uh, everything is super aesthetic and very clean looking and white. Because of like how pretty they were and because of like the physiques I was seeing and all that kind of stuff when I was researching for this video, I easily, easily understood why people could get like caught up in this trend it all and uh, young girls specifically because it is so eerily similar to like the thin spo and the fit spo that we saw on tumblr back in like 2011 2012 2014 whatever i when i was in high school basically <laughs> it's basically like talking about like overall like wellness and presenting it in a very very specific way like I kind of already touched on, my main issue with this trend is that I feel, in my opinion, that it gives off the completely wrong idea of what self-care and health really look like and what it actually is. And I'm not saying that like any of the things that they talk about are bad, but I think it's like, I think it's thin spo and fit spo and like all of those really toxic things from the internet like in a trench coat 
disguising itself as like well like mental health and well-being and overall well-being because obviously like eating well exercising stretching taking care of your mental health journaling affirmations all of those things are really really important to like our everyday lives and can be really really beneficial and and just overall taking care of yourself is so important but like it looks so different for everybody like from person to person and I think creating this like one ideal stereotype almost of like what it should look like or whatever is really dangerous and really harmful and yes i admittedly i eat really i eat not really well but i eat well now i go to the gym at least three times a week i've been lifting i've been seeing results from that i've been really putting in work on my mental health um my insurance changed so i did unfortunately have to stop therapy for a while but i'm in the best like mental space i think i've ever been in and like i do all of that but like i look like this <laughs> in my apartment <laughs> looks like this and that's okay because to me being that girl can vary from person to person and I think uh the having this like one overarching image of like what that girl looks like can make people feel like they're doing it wrong when really they're not they're just doing it right for themselves <laughs> and like I touched on before I feel like this whole trend is like disguising uh thinspo and fitspo with like a false sense of like promoting well overall well-being and health and wellness a lot of that can be seen when you go and like search this on pinterest or tiktok or instagram or whatever and you just see copious amounts of like showing off their abs and their butts which like great be proud of your body like i'm proud of my body oh my god things. I'm proud of my body and how it's starting to look since I've started lifting. Um, I've noticed a big change already, but like it's all really thin white women for, for the most part showing off like their abs and their butt and like pretty workout footage, which like I look like a fucking gremlin when I'm exercising. I don't know about you. And also I feel like the most problematic part of this is the what I eat in a days that are like that girl what I eat in a days. I find I, I watched quite a few of these and I found that a lot of them if they're showing everything, which like obviously we never know if they are, if they're showing everything, I just have a really hard time believing that they're getting enough calories calories and macronutrients that like an average person would need. It borderlines on like the thin spo like rhetoric that you saw a lot on Tumblr of like the how to eat a lot of food for not a lot of calories, um, which borderlines EDs and like that's not good. And I think spewing this on things like TikTok is super, super dangerous. Um, considering the young demographic that TikTok has. I think instead of focusing on being that girl, I like the whole idea of like romanticizing our lives better. If you want to pick one social media trend to go go with, I like the whole romanticizing our lives better because it's our life. It's my life. And while this could manifest itself into looking a lot like the that girl trend, as long as it's authentic to you, that's all that matters. Like, yeah, I do kind of feel like that girl sometimes because I, when I go to the gym at like 6 a.m., I, I do feel like that girl sometimes, but it's like my own version of that girl and that's what matters. For me, being that girl means looking like an absolute gremlin at the gym, doing really hard work on myself in the gym mentally in all aspects these days these past few months i've really been working on that a lot it's it's keeping up with my apartment that was built in the 1970s and like has two windows <laughs> drinking non-protein non-green protein shakes and dressing however i feel like in the moment because it makes me feel good about myself and like yeah i wear cute outfits to the gym too but that's also because i worked at an activewear store for like nine months and i got a shit ton of free clothes it's just little things that matter matter to me that make me happy in my life. And another thing I kind of noticed that I've been doing that I think the that girl trend does not help uh, promote is I've been focusing a lot on financial wellness and financial financial literacy. Am I like perfect? Absolutely not. Do I think buying a $9 green juice was like the most financially literate thing for me to do? No. And like that's what they promote. They promote like buying this stuff and like buying green smoothies from like health 
bars and stuff. And, like, it's just so expensive. Like, some of the shit that they promote is, like, so expensive. And that's another thing I really noticed uh, going off of the financial aspect is that the whole that girl trend exudes just such an extreme amount of privilege. Like, so much privilege. <laughs> Being able to pay for a gym membership of any kind. The apartments that they show. Um buying this kind of health food it, it it exudes like a huge amount of privilege that like some people in that some people watching these videos might never be able to attain due to like physical emotional or economic factors and i think that's something that's often overlooked in this trend i made bullet points for this video but i still feel like it's come off really rambly but like what I'm trying to say is that I'm not 100% against the that girl rhetoric. I'm just against like how it's presented to the world because like I said, drinking or drinking, like I said, eating well, exercising, taking care of your mental health, however that looks for you, doing things that just overall make you feel the best that you can be uh, is really important. I'm just, like I said, I'm just against how it it's portrayed in a very, very specific way that is unattainable to a lot of people. And I feel like when it's portrayed that way, it often makes people feel like they're not doing it right. And that's why I'm making this video is like, just as long as you're happy and you're healthy and you're doing what you wanna do, you're doing it right. And that's all that matters. And you don't need to look like your life doesn't need to look like these TikToks and Instagram posts do. And also, might I add that just because you decide to be lazy one day and like no, not get out of bed, that doesn't mean you're failing yourself. Um, bad days are okay. I don't know who needs to hear this, but bad days are okay. And lazy days are okay. They're healthy even. <laughs> you, it, 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 This also perpetuates like the toxic positivity narrative, which I wanna do a video on as well. And like all this stuff. And I just wanted to make this video saying you do not have to be that girl or that guy or whatever whatever you identify as you do not need to be that version of it you can be whatever version you want to be and still be healthy and live a very fulfilling life and i feel like this might be common sense but i just think these this trend is like getting every going everywhere and it's getting worse and it's just spreading and i just had thoughts about it because i think of if like 16 year old megan saw it on tiktok and I don't think it would have done good things for my mental health because <laughs> uh, 16 year old Megan did not look like that. 25 year old Megan does not look like that. If you take anything away from this video, that's what I want you to take away from. That's what I want you to take away from it is that you're just do you're doing just fine and that this nine dollar green juice was absolutely not worth it. It's from Whole Foods, but yeah, you're doing just fine. I think social media sucks in terms of health and wellness and all of that kind of stuff um, because it sets impossible standards for the average person, and I'm here to remind you of that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say in this video. Uh, all the links to everything about me will be down below. And yes, take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. I love you so, 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 so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.